I was such the overachiever that in college, I married my high school sweetheart, a girl. So I, I started dating my wife when we were 16 years old. And because I was actually the third grandchild of eight, which there were four boys in a row, I was constantly competing with my older two cousins for this aggressive masculinity that they teach to little boys in conservative towns. You know, the root of all evil in America. Aggressive masculinity. So I thought, sure, I'll play my card. I'll marry my high school sweetheart. She really should have known, though, OK? <laughs> I, I, I mean, sure, I was lying. Yes, I was like, yeah, I'm totally straight. I'm totally straight. <laughs> no, I've never even thought about a man in that way. Oh, penis, so gross. <laughs> That's my Florida voice. <laughs> so gross there, that penis. Um, <laughs> she really should have known, because one, I chose the bridesmaids' dresses. <laughs> Not even lying. And it had, they had these little detail right here, like it was a strapless. It was a strapless, and it had these three rows of pearls right here on the neckline. And she was looking at these dresses, and she was like, mm, I really hate those pearls. I think I'm just going to get the seamstress to take them off. And I was like, over my dead body. <laughs> That's the most interesting thing on this dress. <laughs> and then two, two, she kept telling everybody, every, what's your colors? What's your colors? When you get married, everybody wants to know, what are your colors? <sighs> she kept telling everybody that our colors were Burgundy and ivory. <laughs> and I kept correcting her that they were Bordeaux and Champagne. <laughs> right? Come on, girl.